can we uh, go back a little bit full circle to when you were talking about Stuart Copeland, because it sounds like he was one of your idols as well. Oh, yeah, when, yeah. You know, like when people come up to you and say, geez, thanks so much for your music. Tell me a little bit about the story of how you got to be able to play with him. What, what happened there? Well, yeah, as I said, I, I, I was fanatic about Stuart Copeland. I, um, I loved what he did with the police music and um, it, it was responsible to get me from punk to like more sophisticated stuff because he basically built that bridge for me because it had the energy but it was more than three chords and it was it was rhythmically more than backbeat and and um, it but I, I I loved it because it had that intensity that that I wanted and so um, I love that completely, and then I then I worked with a percussion group. That is, I mean, Stuart Copeland is now a a composer for film score music and for like like a, a lot of that stuff. And um, and then I realized that uh, that a friend of mine who's in a who's in a percussion or something they're called Eltona Percussion, um, and they are classical players and they they do studio work for film scores and for orchestras and so they come with their truck of like timpanis and all that. Oh, wow. That, that's the thing. Usually as a drummer you think, oh, I have so much equipment. <laughs> Man, these guys like with the, with the, <laughs> with the bells and yeah. the timpanis yeah, and, right. the, and the marimbas. And, oh my God. That's a lot of so, gear. Yeah. Oh gosh. Horrible. <laughs> um, so, so they said like, oh, we have this project with, um, with, um, with, uh, where we play, where Stuart Coleman booked us for this thing. And I'm like, Oh my God! Like I'm, I'm <laughs> so I think I geeked out so much sure. that um, I just said like I love the guy and it's amazing and oh God, God and so good for you and awesome. And then some one of their guys uh, wasn't available, mm. and then they were like, "Hey Benny, so you're so crazy about that. Do you want to join us?" And I said, "Yep." Yeah, right. So uh, yeah, so I was that. a part of yeah. <laughs> So it was a part of a, a recording that he produced, and it, it, he was there, and, like playing some some stuff for a, a project that he had. Mm. And uh, yeah, since then, I every once in a while, I mean every once in a while, I met him like two three times since then, and he was always super nice. You know, it was it's one of these things like I had that with Steve Gadd too, or Steve Smith, or like wh whatever, sure. where where you're a fan of someone, and yeah. then you meet them and maybe even become like friends or uh, at least colleagues and sure. and then you find out oh they're super nice and, and they're and then you think like oh you bet on the right horse you know like they're they're good guys they're, uh,